Okay, so Pugster sometimes he scratches his tumour and we just keep it clean and keep it dry. So spray it with some antibacterial silver and skin the lid on. And then we'll give him a little clean up. Bye, PB. How often do you have to do this? Um, when I'm doing his bandages, so the tumour, because it's come up, I'll do it every um, about four times a day. However, he hasn't been scratching it until today. Um, and we haven't really had a problem. So today it's just really about trying to dry it so that it doesn't get infected. And so for this, we're just literally going to dry out the tumour. Okay, good Pat it all dry. So what is that that you're using? It's a herbal formulation that I've made and we literally um, pat on the her dry herbs and that helps to dry out the tumour and also it pulls off dead layers of the tumour fall off. It's how we get rid of it in the end. It's like the dead dying tissue slows off. So um, you can see that he scratched it and this part's coming off, obviously there. And so we can clear off. When he scratches it, it's actually a good thing because it means we can pull off so you can see the dead tissue. So the herbs literally dry out the tumour and then the dead tissue comes off and it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller until we get rid of it. He had one on his neck which was much easier to treat mm -hmm. obviously because he couldn't scratch it. Um, we could keep him in the collar but it'd be quite unfair and we like to give him like quality of life. Yeah. And so we just leave him to be free. When we first put on the herbs and things just to make sure it stays dry and they stay on, we'll just bandage them up. So we bandage them up for a... We'll bandage him up probably for an hour today until it dries or until he tells us that he doesn't want the bandage on anymore and um, then you'll find that the herbs have stuck to it and the tumour will be nice and dry and then we just leave him again. Um, I give him a break, I don't treat him all the time because I don't think it's fair. Um, we just, if the tumour looks like it's getting aggressive, which it is at the moment, then we'll treat it. Um, and if not, we'll just leave it alone. At the moment, because it's big, we've been, for the last three weeks, we've been putting his medicine on and um, the dead skin cells have been sloughing off. So actually, until today, until he scratched it, we've been doing really well. We've got it down quite a lot. When mast cells come up, they can just, they're quite aggressive. They come up and they come up quickly and they can get big. So this it was um, a lot bigger. It's gone down to at least half size and we've been doing it for about two weeks. So in another two weeks, I expect to get rid of it. But it's not nice to can to continually burn it off. I like to like, let it heal a little bit. So that Do you have any examples of the tube, you may, other tumours that he's had that might have gone down? Yeah, I've got photographs of the one on his neck, which was like almost the size of a golf ball that we've got rid of. And if you feel on the top, you What's can that feel one? that um, very scar tissue, almost. And it's oh, so it's totally gone. Here. You can't even yeah. see. No, you can't even. If you, let's have a look. Let's see if you can see it. Um, here. So, that's it. That was it. So that's the size of a golf ball and it's gone back down to skin layer. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it was on his neck, like this. Wow. And so we've taken that down fully and it's gone. And actually the ones that open up and bleed and that you treat herbally, you can get rid of them. These ones have just stayed the same. They've never really, they're under the skin. The vet says that they're just superficial. So right. they just, they've grown, they've grown over the four years, but I think that they've grown a lot slower than they would have if we hadn't have been doing the diet. And so for the ones that don't open up and the ones that don't ulcerate, you just... It's all about diet management, so stopping those foods that he becomes allergic to, et cetera, et cetera. The ones that open up and bleed, then we can actually get those to go away because you literally slough off every layer of the cells until they fall off, and it is just dying tissue. The vet says, well, you know, superficial, he's not in any significant pain, so... And we also give him... <laughs> he has a little bit of homeopathic, a little bees after, like... <laughs> And uh, yeah, he's great. Like, he, he does really well. We're really proud of him. I love it. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. I've got that nice and close.